I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear equations. We had shared with you 60 equations and now we are trying to share with you the solutions for all those 60 equations. In this video, mm -hmm. we have set of solutions for those where we will find the equation of line from the graph and we are given two points. So here's a graph before you where the two points are given on the graph you have to find equation of this particular line. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, the method is straightforward. First, identify the two points. Let's say that the points are A and B, right? So, what are the coordinates of these points? Let's try to read. So, let's say this is A for us. Then, the coordinate for point A is the x value here is minus 3 and the y value is 2, right? So, y value is 2, right? So, you can read that, correct? So, it seems minus 3 and 2 are the coordinates of A. Let us now look into the coordinates of point B, which is right there. So, it is at minus 2, right? And the y value is minus 1, right? Minus 1. So, we can write minus 2, minus 1 as, as the coordinates of A and B. Once we have these two points, we can actually find the slope. So, so from these two points, we can find slope m, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, 2 minus minus 1, right? 2 minus minus 1 divided by minus 3 minus minus 2, right? That gives us the slope, right? So, we can write m as equal to basically 2 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 2 that gives us 3 over minus 1 or negative 3 makes sense the line is going downwards right if the line is going downwards the slope has to be negative right so we have done a part of the equation we can now write this as y equals to minus 3x plus b now to find the value of b we can choose any one of these points right so let us take one of these points let it be say minus 2 minus 1 so let's take b as one of our points substituting the x value as minus 2 and y being minus 1 right x value is minus 2 we can now find b right so we have minus 1 equals to 6 plus b or minus 1 minus 6 equals to b and that gives you the value of b as minus 7 correct now we have found the value of b as minus 7. The equation of the line, as you know, is y equals to mx plus b, right? And the value of b is minus 7, slope already we got as minus 3. And so we have our equation, and the equation is y equals to minus 3x minus 7, correct? So that becomes the equation of the given line. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So, from the graph, first thing, identify the points, find their coordinates, okay? Once you find the coordinates, then find slope. Slope is difference in y values divided by difference in x values. Once you get the slope, find the b-intercept using any one of these points, the y-intercept, b. That is how you get it. So, we got the first one. Here is another one for you to practice. So, I'd like you to pause the video now. We're given a line, two points. Identify the points, right? So, we are given actually the coordinates of points this time. A being minus 1, minus 3. And coordinates of point B are given to us as 3 and minus 1. Can you find the slope? So, slope M, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Can be written as what? Well, from these two points, slope will be minus 3. You can use minus 3 first, okay. Minus of minus 1, right. Divided by minus 1, minus 3, right. So, that gives you minus 3 plus 1 over minus 1 minus 3 or minus 2 over minus 4 or it is half. Definitely, the line is rising and therefore, positive slope is correct. Now, we can find the y-intercept by using any one of these points. You know, the equation now can be written as y equals to half x plus b. 
substituting one of these points, let me select point A. In this case, minus 3 is the y value, minus 1 is the x value, correct? So we can now find the value of B as minus 3 plus half, right? Which is minus 6 over 2, right? Plus half, which is equals to minus 5 over 2. And therefore, we can write down the equation of the line as y equals to the gradient of half x minus 5 by 2. Makes sense? So that is how we can get the equation. You can also check the gradient, right? So when you go up 1, you see, and then 2 right, you reach a point on the graph. You see that? So the slope is correct. Perfect. So that is how. If you are given two points on a line, you can find the equation. I hope this concept is absolutely clear, right? Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.